This is Lauren Talbot here, and you are watching my Healthy Living channel because I'm a nutritionist and I like to nourish. This is your guide to enjoying the ride for a healthier, happier life. So today, we are gonna make our own fresh, raw almond milk because it is so super simple. And when I first got involved in the nutrition world, I thought it was so time consuming because I didn't have the right parts and pieces. But it is super easy. So almonds are a phenomenal source of vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. It's great for your skin, very anti-inflammatory, and help keep you young and youthful and youthful and young. But you can actually use other nuts too, like Brazil nuts or cashews, um, walnuts. I'm not so much of a fan of the walnut milk. But the first thing we want to do is we want to soak our nuts. Yes, I said that. Soak almonds. Um, and you want to do it overnight because what that's going to do is it's going to help reduce the enzyme inhibitors, which make nuts difficult to digest. And it's also going to soften them up a little bit. So it makes it so much easier to blend for us. All right, so let me grab these little guys from the fridge. Now, typically, the way to make almond milk or any nut milk is it's a one to four ratio, which means one cup of almonds, four cups of water. But because we are making a smaller amount, we're going to cut that in half. So we're gonna do one half a cup of almonds and two cups of water. We're just gonna add one half a cup of our soaked almonds to our blender. There we go. Two cups of fresh, pure drinking water to our blender. Now there's a couple ways to sweeten this. Today we're going to use uh, pitted medjool dates. I'm gonna use four. Um, you can use anywhere between four and eight. We're doing half the amount, so four instead of eight. And we're just gonna plop those guys in there. It can be really helpful if you soak those too. You can also use maple syrup, grade B, or stevia if you're trying to avoid sugars. All right, so then we're just gonna tie this little baby up. completely smooth and cloudy like you would expect a milk to look like. All right, so it's looking pretty cloudy to me. Uh, opaque, you know, like a milk should look. Um, I think we're done. All right, so we're gonna take a bowl with a little spout over here. And we are going to take this guy. This is a nut milk bag, y'all. Nut milk bag. I will post um, some of my favorite brands underneath this video. And this makes your life 10,080 bazillion times easier. And we're just going to place this little fella in our bowl like so. And we're going to open up our almond milk mixture. And we're going to pour it. Oh. <laughs> Oops, that was a daisy here. Um, we're just going to pour it in there. And then we're going to squeeze. And we're going to squeeze again. And squeeze. Bam, perfect. All right, so now what we're left in here is almond pulp, which you can actually do some cooking fun things with. I'm a terrible baker, by the way. Um, you can make crusts with it and all that kind of fun stuff. And what you're left with right here Delicious almond milk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so good. So you know like almond extract, how it's very almondy? This is what this tastes like. So make sure you're getting organic, 
preferably sprouted almonds. It's going to give it the best flavor. Um, raw, sprouted, preferably. And how easy was that? So super simple. So please leave your feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks again for tuning in and watching my healthy living channel. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, who thought of this? Of almonds covered in water. And we're just gonna get rid of this water because we, we don't want this water anymore. And we're just gonna keep our soaked almonds in here. So, bye bye, water. See you later. Oh, one of our almonds just escaped. All right, so now we've got one cup of soaked almonds in here ready to go. Perfect. We're gonna pour them into here. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. All right, so we're gonna take our almonds out of here. They've been soaking. You don't have to soak them, it just makes everybody's lives much easier. 